Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be doing an update of San Diego International Airport. This is a very, very highly requested airport update, um, so I'm very glad that I can now finally get this out to you. I am joined by two very special guests, of course. Uh, we have Aviation.mco, uh, or Ben. Hey. And we also have, again, we have Citrus Aviation. Howdy folks, and this video is sponsored by Joe and I Jeff. <laughs> Both Citrus Aviation and Aviation.mco are trying to get to 1k by the end of the year, so if you could help them out, that would be amazing. Um, but for now, we're just going to get on with the updates. Here we have a Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Florida One livery just came in from San Jose and is going to be heading out to Phoenix Sky Harbor. So here we have the beautiful Southwest 737-700 in the Tennessee One livery by Gemini Jets. This guy came in from Reno earlier and he'll head out to San Francisco here in a few minutes. And next there we have a Southwest 737-800. He's just arrived in from Baltimore and he's going to be heading out to Sacramento. Here we have a Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-800 in Canyon Blue livery. Just came in from Denver and is going to get ready to head out to Norfolk. San Diego Norfolk is a new route that's supposed to connect the two naval bases. All right, here we have this beautiful Southwest 737-700 in Hart Levy. This guy came in from San Antonio, Ola, and he's now loading up bags for a departure out to Las Vegas. And finishing off for Southwest here, we have a Southwest 737-800. Uh, he's going to be heading out to Atlanta, and he just came in from Detroit. And starting off with Terminal 1 West, we have a Gemini Jet Spirit A321 that just came in from Chicago O'Hare and will be heading out to Detroit in a few hours. And then just below, we have the beautiful NG model Spirit A321 who will be heading out to Las Vegas. And you can see in this nice frame, we have a nice comparison between the two aircraft. And next there, we have a Frontier A320. He's going to be heading out to Denver. And over here we have a new livery Sun Country 737-800 getting ready for its flight out to Minneapolis, St. Paul. All right, next up we have two beautiful NG models, JetBlue A321s. This first one will be heading out to New York, JFK. And the second one is going to be heading out to Boston, Massachusetts. And to finish off Terminal 1, we have a JetBlue Airways Airbus A320 with sharklets in the Bark Hotel going to be heading out to Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale is the only city from San Diego that JetBlue serves that doesn't have a mint flight that I know of. I know that Newark, um, it was just recently added and it has mint. So Fort Lauderdale is the only one that doesn't have mint. And that concludes Terminal 1. Terminal 1 is one of two terminals in San Diego. And Terminal 1 is split into two sides, Terminal 1 East and Terminal 1 West. Terminal 1 East houses Southwest Airlines and has no lounges. Southwest has 11 gates in Terminal 1. Terminal 1 West houses Frontier, Allegiant, JetBlue, Southwest, Spirit, and Sun Country, and also has no lounges. There are eight gates in Terminal 1 West. Terminal 1 West was previously used by Alaska. However, in 2019, Alaska moved to Terminal 2. Now, Terminal 1 West is just served by the low-cost carriers. All right, next up we have the east side of Terminal 2, and we have this beautiful Alaska A321 Neo, who will be heading out to Newark. And next there we have an Alaska A320 heading out to San Francisco. Here we have the NG Models Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-800 with the splits. It just came in from Portland, Oregon, and we'll be heading out to Orlando in a few hours. Here we have this beautiful Alaska 737 in the Salmon 30 Salmon livery. This guy came in from Honolulu, and he'll head out to Kona on the Big Island later. So this aircraft has an interesting story behind its livery. A salmon that was being carried by a eagle or vulture or some bird dropped on this aircraft, striking the front of a Alaska 737-200 departing Juneau in 1987 dropped on this aircraft while it was departing. And so uh, was one of the reasons why this livery was created. And it was eventually painted on this aircraft seen here to honor that incident and the large salmon trade that Alaska Airlines does, including a yearly competition where the winners of the biggest salmon catch have their salmon carried on a Alaska aircraft cargo and then is transported down to, I believe, Seattle, where it's sold to market. And it's a pretty awesome thing. Alaska does a lot of transportation of fresh salmon on their 737s. 
So yeah, if you ever see one of those, you know what they're carrying. And next here we have an American Eagle CRJ 700. Uh, he's going to be heading out to Los Angeles. Uh, this route is actually being um, cancelled on October 6th. Um, and so we're trying to get this route in before it's actually um, non-existent anymore. Here we have an American Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the One World livery. Just came in from Phoenix Sky Harbor and is going to be heading out to Chicago here in a few. All right, next up we have this beautiful Indy Models American Airlines 8321. We'll be heading out to Dallas Fort Wall. Starting off Terminal 2 West, we have a United Express E170 going to be heading out to Los Angeles. All right, here we have an inferior old livery United A320 who will be heading out to Denver. Hopefully, he will soon be replaced by a new livery one, which is way better. And next day, we have a United 737-900. He's going to be heading out to Newark. And here we have a United Airlines Boeing 757-200. Just came in from Newark Liberty and is going to be heading out to Washington, Dallas. Aha! The greatest flight ever! Here we have a Delta 757-200 which will be heading out to Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport or Citrus Aviation's amazing airport. Oh wait, that's me. Next up. <laughs> and next day we have a Delta 737-900. He's going to be heading out to New York JFK. And to finish off the domestics here, we have a Delta Airlines Airbus A220 that's going to be heading out to Seattle Tacoma. Next up, over by the Air Canada section, we have this beautiful E-175 who will be headed out to Vancouver. And behind him there, we have an Air Canada 737 MAX 8. He's going to be heading out to Toronto Pearson. Now, of course, the MAX 8 is grounded, but pre-groundings, this aircraft would fly this route from San Diego to Toronto Pearson. Here we have a Hawaiian Airbus A330-200. Just came in from Honolulu, and it's going to be heading out back to Honolulu. Next up, we have this beautiful Lufthansa A340-600 in the current livery here from Frankfurt. And then this is normally an A340-300, but obviously because of limitations of not having that aircraft, we're using a 600. So if you squint your eyes a little bit, it'll look like a 300. So it's close enough. And to conclude this update, we have the one, the only, the British Airways 747-400 in the One World livery. If you don't know, the British Show 747 was an icon at San Diego. Uh, the approach into San Diego, uh, there are some amazing videos and pictures of this aircraft on approach into San Diego from London Heathrow. Um, and so that's where this aircraft is going to be heading out to London Heathrow. This aircraft in real life, this is uh, Victor Papa. This one was actually retired. Uh, it was flown from London Heathrow uh, to St. Athens to be scrapped. Uh, two days ago from when we're recording this or five days ago from when you're seeing this on Monday the 21st of September 2020. So very sad news that this of course has been retired but it has served an amazing life full of amazing flights especially to San Diego. And that concludes Terminal 2. Terminal 2 has two concourses east and west and in total has 32 gates number 20 through 51. Terminal 2 East houses Alaska and American and has 13 gates. There is an airspace lounge and an admiral's club. It's a joint lounge, so it's like together, I'm, I think. And then Terminal 2 West has 19 gates and it houses Air Canada, British Airways, Delta, Edelweiss, Hawaiian, Japan Airlines, Lufthansa, United, and WestJet. It has a United Club and a Delta Sky Club. And that does conclude this update of San Diego International Airport. I hope you did enjoy it. Again, this is a suggested update, so of course, and um, there's no ground markings for this update. This is a suggested update, so we're just gonna do it once, and we're probably not gonna do it again. We might do it again if I get some future aircraft that may suit San Diego even better. But yeah, that does conclude this update, and I'm gonna give it away to either Citrus or Ben to kind of conclude this update. Thank you for watching, everybody. That's That was like, that's pretty epic of you for watching this whole update i hope you enjoyed please check out aviation 18's video on um, videos for more stuff check out citrus's videos he posts really really cool aviation news videos i really like them i'm a personal fan watch them every week um you should go check them out go check out my channel i got some pretty cool stuff coming out our uh, goal is to get 1k by the end of the year got some cool trips new videos coming out soon and Leave a like. Don't forget, you gotta subscribe to PewDiePie and make sure when you go to Chick Fil A, you gotta get a number one. All right, thank you everybody for watching this video. Subscribe to AV Eastern 18 for more amazing contents, including airport updates, his flexing, amazing unboxings, and other great content that he covers. And uh, 
subscribe to ABC and MCO for great reports such. Um, I hope you subscribe to me as well. And thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day. God bless. Bye-bye. And so, yeah, with that being said, I want to thank you very much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Here we have an entirely old livery Delta. Blah, 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 blah. It's an airline. Chick-fil-A Aviation is going to be the new name. You do realize we've been on call for about an hour and a half and we haven't even gone through a single plane yet. Citrus Aviation powered by the, the organic power of original chicken. Thai pods. Mm. It is most delicious. Dang. <laughs> 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 Mm -hmm. My favorite scene from the British office is when uh, he and his like assistant go to the store and they're having the vegan bacon.